When plants are stressed, several things happen that can decrease yield. But plants have built-in defense mechanisms to help them cope with stress. Depending on the type of stress, drought, heat, cold, nutrient deficiencies, herbicide injury, different protective mechanisms will be triggered. One of the main triggers of a plant's defense system is the increased concentration of free radicals or reactive oxygen species caused by stress. They act as a signal to the plant's defense system. These are molecules with an unpaired electron. These lonely electrons cause cell damage through an oxidation process. Under stress, the plant produces defensive enzymes and other organic molecules. Many of these molecules require macro and micronutrients such as zinc, manganese, molybdenum, boron, and sulfur as precursors to their production. That's what's happening at the cellular level, but what does it look like in the field? A variety of symptoms such as wilting, pale foliage, cupping of leaves, twisted stems, and other odd growth patterns could be seen as the plants try to ensure their survival. We know that plants launch defense mechanisms to protect against stress. These mechanisms include the production of specific organic acids, amino acids, and enzymes. While micronutrients are essential for plants to thrive in periods of normal growth, they are required in much smaller amounts than nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. In a stressful situation, their role changes. Several macro and micronutrients are required in the formation of organic molecules, amino acids, and enzymes that capture and eliminate damaging free radicals. Many of these are necessary for photosynthesis. That's where biostimulants come in.